Okay, today I am going to show you how to insert a graph in a crystal report. What we are going to do is to create a crystal report and we are going to put a graph into it and I am going to show you how to select a new, select a standard report. It's easy to create a put a graph into the report. There's nothing difficult about it. Believe me, it's a matter of a few practice and you'll get it right. First, you should understand what data you want. Only then you can create a graph for it. If you cannot organize your data correctly, then you will not get the graph correctly. Let's say create new connection. I have a Northwind database this time. I'm not going to use the extreme database. I have already created an ODBC database connection. As you will see, I'm going to select the Northwind database this time. And I'm going to select next. I have already explained to you all these things in the previous thing. I'm going to select the finish and the Northwind database has been selected okay and I'm going to select the tables in the tables I'm going to select the customer why I'm going to select the customer because this is the table that deals with the customers then the customer deals with the orders and then the orders also have the order details okay I have selected the three tables I have left, left the rest all three has to have a link they have, a, have to have a primary key and a foreign key in it it will show up in the link hold on here they are as you can see they are all linked okay now I show you how they are linked see the customer ID is a primary key in the customer it is a foreign key in the orders again if you see the order ID exists in both one as a primary key and one as a foreign key product ID is showing up in the order details though the product because we have not selected the product so it's not showing the link up okay okay now these things these tables have been selected I'm going to select the next okay and from the customer table I'm going to just select the one thing customer company's name that's it from the order details and the orders I'm going to select okay what I want is from the orders is the actually the order date when it was then when it was required and the ship date okay and the ship country I can select many other details but I'm going to show you with the minimum of it just showing you the correct way how to presenting the report creating a graph uh, maybe a unit price quantity okay I'm going to select the next okay it's saying group by group by okay let's go back rearrange the thing the field to display I because I'm going to I want the report to be having first as a shipping country so I drag it up again I want to take it this thing as a customer city or oh, ship ship city so I drag that thing up and then I select next you're asking me what to group by again I have to select the same thing the ship country and the ship city here yeah, the ship group is a country the bigger group and ship city is a small group under that thing next I don't want anything to be summed so I'm going to remove these things any some details I'm going to insert a count by percentage okay and I'm going to show you how to get the percentage okay no filtering needed next okay I'm not going to select any template and I'm going to select finish and there the report is ready I've already given the orientation for the printer as a landscape so the report should be coming in a landscape okay okay now the thing is that how do I insert a graph so this report looks fairly good to me of course we can always format something to look bit much better again I go to the design now I go to the top and right click it and select insert a section below I will insert two section below one for the graph and one for the graphic and one for the okay now let's see I want to put a I have to drag this thing down to make it big so that I can insert a graph 
I say insert chat okay before inserting a chart okay let me insert a chart here but how do I get a chart correctly I have to use a before the thing before I insert a chart let's go and actually do one thing is to insert a group insert a summary let's say I want to use the count the country name so I will go and select the order ship country and I want to count it so I will select the count and in the by the country ok uh, show as percentage and that's it and it has added exactly where it should be ok now I am going to put this thing here ok and I am going to show you the preview ok well, let's go down and this is the first preview you have got ok and we have got 1.58 percent and there we are now let me insert a graph and show it to you how do I insert a graph ok let's go up as you can see there are these keep on cropping up now and then I have to go up ok here I am going to insert a graph uh, let's say insert chart and there we are I just have inserted and it will do the rest for me automatically depending upon the percentage ok let's go to the top page and as you can see it has already created a graph that is very beautiful and it has done the counting for me or depending upon the percentage ok ship country ok now let me actually correct it and format it ok let me actually make it a little bit wider so that we can see the data correctly and there we go again run a preview and there is this is our graph ok now let me add some do the some formatting uh, chart expert it allows me to select see there are a lot of actually different graphs here as you can see pie graph is there I can select it to make it a pie ok if I select and make it pie and ok and if I say use depth it will give me a 3D if I don't click it will give me a plane let's see change it to pie graph and see it ok and there are many other options ok if you go want to do it and select all the things you can go and check it out ok detach ply slice it will actually make the slice get separated ok and there are many more options so let's see what happens to the pie graph and let's take a preview and there we are much better than before before if you feel like pie graph is better ok now again go, let's go back and actually go to the chart expert I am going to select the bar again this time I am going to use depth and this is going to be ok for me and I will have it by the depth ok let's see by the depth and there we are done with the graph we have got a graph and I am going to show you the, again to actually how to add a text now well, let's see I have already have the text we have created already one extra field extra sorry section whether on the top I am going to add a picture here ok add picture maybe the maps of the world or SSW ok it is asking me where do I want to put the picture I am going to select it here and there we go and this is our done 
this is how the picture is okay you can put it anywhere you want you can again format the same thing depending upon what if you want to format same way you can format the graph also still so i say format chart format background it allows me to format the chart border hold on to the border depth actually shows up correctly and i will show you how to add a border to the graph okay there's it uh you can select the border line anything depending upon what you want single border again single again single and there we are done with this if you want you can choose a background also color whatever you want i will leave it leave it as it is and then i am going to select okay and then the last option is what i am going to do is to show you the format the background okay it is asking me there are many ways you can do it you can use a pattern you can use a color i am going to use a gradient okay so hold on and there we go we are going to choose this yellow bright color i could have chosen any other depending upon this thing maybe let's see check something else it is going up showing up too bright maybe a little bit lighter okay this should also do do this one okay so for so good okay let's preview it and see it okay there we are a beautiful graph that is showing with the different colors and we have this thing shaping title we could have added uh, any text on it we can add a text to the graph remember when you are adding a text in a graph it goes back to the sometimes on the of the graph so you be very very be very careful what you want to add on the text so you can add as text graph and you can type whatever you feel like okay and once you are done you select this thing and you are select you can do the formatting you can say bold be careful it may disappear it you usually disappears at the back whatever text you put you will have have to also always bring it back into the front and this is the shipping this thing you can always add an email to this thing by saying format graph and a hyperlink and once the person clicks on this thing you can add a email and you can write it whatever you want to and to the whatever this thing and once the person once you are done you can click okay and wherever the once the person clicks on that place it will actually be actually it will open up a email box depending upon what you have outlook express or whatever that is and then we have let's bring it this thing down if you want to add something else on the title also you can add insert a text and there we are we are done with the this thing you can add some text next make it bold align it to center do whatever you feel like and then we are done with it and let's save the report this time and save save as this i have said save as report as report 2 report graph okay and let's take a preview before we close down so there we are that's it okay you can add whatever text you want you have to format it and you can bring it to take it to the point 